This is Lake Baringo, a freshwater lake. And just a few kilometers south, we find Lake Bogoria, a salt water lake. Two of the most important lakes in the Kenyan Rift Valley, and they are about to mix their waters. Lakes along the Great Rift Valley continue to swell, while two others, Lake Baringo and Lake 94 in the county of Baringo, have already merged. The lakes of Kenya's Rift Valley are rising, inundating homes and businesses. Water levels have been swelling for years, but are particularly high this year following heavy rain. To make matters worse, two lakes, Lake Baringo and Lake Bogoria, which you can see on the map here, have grown so much that they run the risk of merging together. Of which could cause an ecological disaster. Lake Baringo is home to aquatic life, such as the Nile tilapia, the Nile crocodile, and the hippopotamus. It is also home to a variety of bird species. It has three tributaries, River Molo, River Ol Arabel, and River Pakera. For the past seven years, the lake has increased 60% in volume, covering 180 km squared from its initial 162 km squared. Lake Bogoria sits just 13 kilometers south. Initially, it's 20 kilometers apart. It is a famous tourist site for geysers and hot springs, of which are already submerged. It is at times home to the largest population of lesser flamingos. For the past seven years, it has swollen by 25%, covering 45 kilometers squared from its initial 34 kilometers squared and coming dangerously close to mixing with one of Lake Baringo's tributaries, River Molo. So what has led to the sudden increase in water volume? Well, there are four main reasons to why. One is a result of tectonic activities that have been happening around the area. Sila Simiyu, a local geologist, mentioned that near-fill tectonic movements around the faults have been a contributor to the issue. Near-field tectonic movements are earthquakes that occur close to the fault. This can be attributed to what has been going on at the Afar Triangle, where three continental plates, the Nubian, the Arabian, and the Somalian plates meet. These plates are shifting away from each other, causing seismic activities to occur along the Rift Valley. Near-field tectonic movement is a cycle that lasts about 25 to 40 years, and this has been instrumental as it squeezes water out of the Earth's aquifers, causing the lakes to increase in volume. The current cycle started in 1996. As for the far-field tectonic movement, this does the opposite and drains most of the lake's waters into the aquifers. The second reason is as a result of climate change most notably from the El Nino years of 2009 and 2010. The region has seen an abnormal increase of rainfall, especially in 2020. The third reason is due to the change in land use that has led to the gradual decline of the Mao Forest, a major catchment area for the region. The fourth reason is the collection of silt on the lake's bed as a result of runoff and soil erosion. This causes a displacement of water forcing the lake to expand into human settlements. One of the major challenges that ecologists fear is the loss of aquatic life if the two lakes ever mix. Most of the Nile crocodiles and hippos are already encroaching dangerously close to human settlements. Most of the fish also wouldn't survive. See, fish are usually osmoregulators. Hence, freshwater fish are hypertonic so introducing saline water will cause them to dehydrate as the surrounding water will be rich in salinity. Many of the communities living around Lake Baringo rely on fishing as their source of livelihood. So what can be done to avoid such an ecological disaster? Well, one will be to build a canal to drain excess water. The second will be to drench the silt collection on this lake bed. The third will be to protect the Mao Forest catchment area and discourage habitat encroachment into the forested zone. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly leave a comment on your thoughts for this subject. Remember, don't subscribe. This channel already has way too many subscribers.